Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The feline race of humanoids who call themselves the Gajit are some of the most interesting specimens Tamino has ever produced. While being labeled as a beast race like the Argonians, they are one of if not the most diverse race since there are multiple forms of Gajits, ranging from small house cats to giant battle cats almost the size of mammoths that can be ridden as mounts. Not to mention their unique speech patterns where they often talk in third person as well as their spiritual connection to the two moons, Secunda and Master. While in Skyrim, you don't get to witness this type of diversification since very few Khajiits live outside their homeland of elsewhere and are subject to racial discrimination. Make a fine rock, cat. However, there have been mods over the years that really showcase just how interesting of a species the Khajiit are and why for some Elder Scrolls fans they are favored among the playable races. We'll start off with one of the first quest mods ever created for Skyrim, Moonpath to Elsewhere. Moonpath takes place in the tropical regions of the Khajiit homeland where he has to team up with some rebels to dispose the Thalmor influence controlling the region. Not only will you be fighting against the Thalmor but also against some of the land's dangerous wildlife while trying to reach out to certain members for help. Instead of a world map, there are new environments to visit ranging from deserts, jungles, and underground lair, and even fighting enemies on board of an airship. While the mod has shown its age over time considering it was made during the first release of the creation kit and wasn't originally designed as a quest mod, Moonpath is still one of Skyrim's most influential mods being well ahead of its time and showcasing how far modding capabilities can be pushed with the creation engine. Since being released, many of its resources have been used in other popular mods including its creature designs, forests, and even the airship. Another quest mod but well suited for today's standards is Marissi's Tales of Trouble where you unravel the mysteries of a Khajiit on the run from the Thalmor. Once you find the whereabouts of this missing Khajiit who happens to have a very unique appearance than the standard ones found in Skyrim, she will end up joining you to help figure out her past. The quest features some dialogue options that are quite important considering there are three different endings, all which decide Marissi's fate as well as other outcomes that can cause your character to get killed. As a character, Marissi has her own unique dialogue with a custom voice and will use different types of replies depending on your dialogue choices as well as her relationship status. The voice actress really does a fun job making the character stand out as well as mastering the unique speech patterns the Khajiits usually have. I also admit that she does sound adorable at times. What has she told you about that flattery? It gets you nothing! With the quest being roughly 8 hours long, there's quite a bit of content to uncover, not to mention the replayability of different type of endings. When it comes to armor mods, there isn't a whole lot that features a Khajiit themed set. In fact, there probably is only one. Fortunately though, the Khajiit Apex armor is one of the better designs on the Nexus, coming to both 2K and 4K variants. While both the armor and weapon designs look different compared to other lore friendly sets, they aren't exactly over the top and their unique appearance is appropriate for Khajiits since the mod is inspired from the Elder Scrolls Online game. In my opinion, I find the weapon models quite fascinating, especially the ones showcasing the different phases of the moon, which plays an important part in Khajiit culture and society. For gameplay, the weapons are silver based, doing more damage against the undead, and they each have their own unique blood textures when used against enemies. Speaking of the two moons, Master and Segunda are revered by the Khajiit since their lunar phase determined the forms of the race take place at birth despite all being born the same. For example, when Master is dark at night and Segunda is waning, the Khajiit will eventually take the form of the Sude Rat, who are the more common forms of Khajiit and are seen as travelers across Tamriel. Another form is the Onze Rat, born when Master is dark and Segunda shines bright. This mod is featured as a playable race inspired from the Marissi quest mod. The Elms are known to be more man-like with facial features similar to a Bosmer, but with their entire body covered in fur, which the mod accomplishes even though it uses the Nord faces as presets. However, since the Elms are one of the more common breeds found outside elsewhere due to their natural skills and diplomacy, roleplaying one in Skyrim is definitely possible with this mod installed. However, due to being well versed in politics, the Elms can also succumb to corruption turning their life into crime and eventually operating underground as smugglers and traffickers. With the Elms Criminals mods, you have a chance to encounter these criminals, as the mod places them along the roads near bandit forts and hideouts, while also attacking you on sight. The Elms are uniquely designed, making them look like actual criminals wearing custom clothing and war paints, as well as being voice acted when fighting against them. Khajiit would not meddle in other people's business if he was you. This may end in death. They are also accompanied by guards who are the Kithi Rat, 
Another breed of Khajiit that appear larger than the standard ones and are more capable fighters. Another form of Khajiit are the Alfiq, who resemble a standard house cat only they are quite intelligent and gifted in magic. Like Ohm's Criminals, the Alfiq Spellcaster mod from the same author places these types of Khajiits only in areas surrounded by mages and fighting against them can be quite challenging. Depending on which one you encounter, each are specialized in an elemental type of magic that can summon potent Atronachs and use custom spells that can create damage area effects. And like the Ohm's Criminals, they also have their own unique dialogue in combat. The Alfiq go from magic to weapons, fast and always ready. However, if you want an Elfiq as a companion, then there's the Creatures of Nern mod where you'll see them roaming around the College of Winter Road and the Thieves Guild. You can recruit one of them as a follower, and like the previous mod, they are quite powerful that can take out lower level enemies, showcasing their powerful magic abilities. you also find some with the Kiji caravans either selling items or acting as bodyguards as well as with some of the Thalmor authorities, which actually makes sense considering that the Thalmor use them as spies. For immersion mods, this one highly recommends Khajiit Speak, which changes the dialogue options to a more speech-like pattern for a Khajiit playthrough. You'll likely have noticed that when interacting with any of the Khajiits, they often refer to themselves in third person. With this mod, the dialogue options are altered in an accurate manner to how Khajiit would communicate with the NPCs. One example would be they refer to Akatosh as Alkosh, their version of the God of Time. Although some of the dialogue options may look weird at first depending on how familiar you are with the choices, for Kruger is a must have. Great, now I'm sounding like Jimmy from Seinfeld. Jimmy got some new moves. Okay. Check Jimmy out. Jimmy down! Another immersive mod, although kind of debatable since it varies from the different breeds, is feline animations for Khajiits. Like the name of the mod, it allows the player and NPCs to sprint and sneak on all fours if they're part of the Khajiit race. Not only do the animations look and work flawlessly, it only requires dynamic animation replacer, so you don't need to run Nemesis or FNIS for them to work. Lastly, we'll finish up with followers, and this blue cat really needs no introduction considering he is arguably Skyrim's best follower mod. Inigo is not just your typical companion, he has over 7,000 lines of unique dialogue mostly centered around your player character, but can also comment on a whole variety of situations. I'm wondering if dragons can get drunk. A drunken dragon may be easier to kill. His advanced AI has tons of features where he can interact with NPCs, choose which fighting style he should use, control the amount of banter he makes, and even whisper when sneaking. I'm enjoying sneaking underground. It feels dangerous. While I really use follower mods, and this is probably the second time I've had him as a companion, I'm not going to argue against the popularity of this mod. It's one of those mods where I think everyone should at least try once regardless of your opinion on follower mods. Not to mention Inigo always has something interesting to say. I'm trying to stay calm, collected, and focused. It is made harder by my current need to urinate. Meh, yeah, close enough. Another follower mod is Kajib Will Follow, which includes four new followers, each with their own backstory and playstyle. Unlike most follower mods, each of these Khajiit have their own fully voiced dialogue, personality, and quests, which are required to compete in order for them to be your companion. Like I said before, I usually don't use follower mods, but I find this one quite underrated, since creating four different companions takes quite a bit of effort, and this mod does have a heck of a job making it all work together. With over 5,000 lines of dialogue, you can also expect some interesting comments from each follower, along with some hidden content to discover. I once met a cat by the name of Nanak. Whose magical prowess could a dragon shock? That's all for today, folks. And as always, all mods showcase will have their links in the description, along with some recommended ones and character builds. Hopefully, all the mods will still be available, since I've noticed some mod authors have taken down theirs due to the recent changes from the Nexus policy agreement, which has been unfortunate for some people. Next up, I plan to cover the Bosmer, another interesting species that features some very lore friendly mods that really show off their society and culture. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.